You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for our Black and White Sports. Wow. We've got some released audio from Ethan Lemming's death, the 911 call that was made to try to get him some help. Of course, this is the Ohio team that was up at LeBron James's I Promise School, whose father has now come out and said that school's location, it is not safe, it is not secure, the cameras are not adequate, uh, they couldn't tell who did it. Now, three guys have been arrested in connection with that death. It was a, uh, a prank that happened on, on some guys, uh, Ethan, I guess, or some of the friends, Squirted some water guns on some guys, and three guys allegedly beat Ethan to death. Uh, it's a horrible thing. It should be noted, by the way. Um, while we're at this, let's just talk about the fact that of all the things that LeBron James has, has come out and demanded in regards to social justice and all these, all these deaths, he has never come out and demanded for justice for Ethan. He has not. It was his school now, and he has not come out and demanded justice for this teen. Now, there could be all kinds of reasons why he hasn't done that, but it's awfully odd. Someone that has been so vocal about all these different incidents and always has an opinion, he has not come out and demanded justice and named this kid's name at all. He's he's talked very vaguely about what's happened, okay? Prayers, thoughts, that kind of thing. But there's been, look, a, a, a guy that virtue signals about everything has not said anything specific about this. Why is that? Where are you, LeBron? Let's get to this. This is crazy. Released audio of 911 call in case of fatally beaten Ohio teen Ethan Lemming raises questions. The released audio, and I will play it, the released audio of the 911 call made in connection to the fatal beating of Ohio 17-year-old Ethan Lemming is raising more questions. Lemming was beaten near the basketball courts of Le NBA star LeBron James's I Promise School in Akron on June 2nd. Since the incident, three males, Donovan Jones, Tyler Stafford, Deshaun Stafford Jr., have been arrested in connection to Ethan's death. We're at, and uh, this is going to be some audio from that. Let's see what we can hear, and then I'll go back and, and we'll read this, okay? Let's go. Oh, we're at King School, or no, we're at uh, the I Promise School in Akron, Ohio. Okay. Our friend just got knocked out. <laughs> Okay. We don't know what to do. Uh, what is your name? Hey. Okay, is, are, is there a fight happening there now? Hey, man. We're sorry, man. We didn't mean it. Sorry, what was that? Is there a fight going on? Uh, there was. Okay, are the other people still there? Yeah, it's all good. It's okay, though. It's cool now. It's cool now. Okay. Is your friend unconscious? Yeah. Is he breathing? Is he breathing? Yeah. Yeah, he's breathing. He's breathing. Okay. Are you with him now? Yeah. How old is he? I'm not trying to fight, though. How old is he? I can't fight. I can't. How old is he? Hello? He's 17. He's 17. Hello, are you still here? Wow. So at this point, the dispatcher loses connection. And uh, Jack, that was uh, Jack uh, Posobiec that put that out, by the way. He's a good follow on Twitter. And let's see if we can kind of uh, go over exactly what was said here. We're at the I Promise School in Akron, Ohio. One of Ethan's friends said at the call placed at 1042 on the night of the incident, Fox News reported, Quote, our friend just got knocked out. We don't know what to do. 
hey, man, we're sorry. We didn't mean it. A voice says to someone other than the operator, the voice sounds like the male friend who called 911, but it's not entirely clear. Quote, is there a fight going on? Uh, yeah, there is. Ethan's friend responds. Okay, are there other people still there? Yeah, the friend says, as other voices are heard in the background. It's okay, though. It's cool now. It's cool now. The friend then identifies Ethan as unconscious when asked about by the operator, later adding, yeah, he's breathing, he's breathing. More indiscernible words are said as the call continues. One person says, quote, I'm not trying to fight, though. The friend tells the operator Ethan is 17 years old right before the call abruptly ends. After trying to get the friend back on the line, the operator reportedly called the same number back, got no answer. Bill Lemming, the father of the killed teen, told News 5 Cleveland earlier this month that his two friends who were black tried to save Ethan while he was still breathing but were chased and assaulted by the perpetrators who then, quote, finished off his son, finished my son off. Good God. So they chased away his friends and then come back and ended him. Wow. Quote, it has been said that they abandoned Ethan. It is not true, Bill said. They did everything possible they could to help Ethan. They called 911 to get help. And when Ethan was knocked on the ground, his two African-American friends tried to pick up his body and put them in the car, put him, them in the car to help save his life. He was still alive at that point. He was still breathing. His friends tried to call, tried to help him and then drove, uh, drove them away. Oh, they drove him away. Okay. So the guys that beat Ethan chased off, chased them off while they were trying to help him. Not before calling 911. Jesus, man, that good God. They called, they tried to get him help, and when they couldn't catch the one child that ran across the parking lot, they came back and finished my son off. Quote, they, as I said, they called for help for my son, but the help did not arrive on time. They did the best they could to help him when they were there, and it's just my heart is broken, Bill added. The father also told News 5 Cleveland that his son was trying to defuse an altercation which had had something to do with two of Ethan's friends' horseplay, but the teen was beat, fatally beaten. Okay, so I guess maybe Ethan, Ethan tried to de-escalate the fight is what we're finding out now. Wow, wow, that's pretty crazy. Uh, the worst part about that is the fact that you find out the two friends are trying to help him and the three scumbags would not let them help him and chase the other guy, Ethan's friends off. They're trying to help him, get him up, I guess get him in the car, try to get him somewhere to save his life, and these three vicious criminals would not let them do that and save this kid's life. Man, I hope they fry their ass. Wow. Wow. And uh, like I said, again, LeBron's not said anything really specific about this. He hasn't. He, he like, retweeted or gave a very generic thing that, that I don't think he ever mentioned this kid's name. He, he's not out there banging the ta table demanding justice or anything like that. Uh, you know, I think it's a shitty move from somebody that's always running his mouth and got something to say about somebody all the time. This is when you get quiet? Really? No, I, I'm not feeling that. Um, so, tell me what you think. Pretty wild 911 call. It's a horrible incident for everybody involved. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.